Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the Industry 98318 30mm stem I got for my Ragley Big Al. Love this bike. Uh, big, beefy, hardtail, 29ers, chunky tires. One of the things that I had to upgrade was the stem. I had a regular Ragley 50mm stem in there. And I got this uh, Industry 9 from uh, in uh, competitivecycling.com. A nice 15% discount for uh, Burn Peak Express. It's a big mountain biking channel. You should check it out. Um, the stem made a big difference. I didn't think 20 millimeters was going to make a big difference. But as you can see here, uh, the footage on the left is my old Ragley stem. And on the right is the new stem. As you can see on the old one, I'm a bit more squirmish. A lot more having to fight the handlebars and at the end of the video I do not make that climb because I kept pulling on the front tire but that's one of the advantages with this stem um, really love the color really pops doesn't match the bike 100% but it does contrast really nice with the purple uh, bars uh, enjoy guys uh, I'll leave you with some riding in footage Got this Industry 9 8 A318 at our competitive cycling.com. This bike came with a in house raggedy stem. Nothing wrong with it. Just a bit too long for my taste. It was a 50 millimeter with a slight price to it. So. This 318 is a 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter, 20 millimeter shoulder at the other. That gives me a more responsive front end. With a 50 mil, a big 29ers, it felt bad. It felt a bit sluggish for some of the turns. I did sacrifice some of the reach, but I'm fine with it. Feel more comfortable now. This was a bit shorter. I feel like I'm so responsive now. It seems like 20 millimeters is not a big deal, but before it felt like I was turning a big old 18 wheeler with a 50 millimeter stamp and the white barge. This stem, I feel the, the bike turning a little better. One of the advantages of shortening your stem, it's a uh, turning radius. I mean, instead of sweeping your turns, you're more uh, precise on them. That bike does get a bit twitchy, but with the 29ers, I mean, this bike needed to be lightened up in the front end. Uh, the turns are now more precise. They, they feel fun, lively. I don't feel like I'm turning a big bus um, but uh, it's one of the the better advantages I can think of uh, on this stem uh, it, it all depends on your riding style uh, not every everybody feels comfortable with a short stem if you do a lot more XC riding uh, maybe a longer stem with a lower rise a negative rise will work for you if you do more downhill enduro uh shorter with uh, or something with a, a rise for me this is a perfect size i am a bit tall i'm six one but i do have uh short arms or shorter arms than, than legs i do have a long torso so this stem does work out really well for me 
Uh, I didn't make this climb. Nothing to do with the stem. It's uh, it, it was a bit chilly, and we're from down south Texas, so we're not used to the cold air. So it was kind of hard to make it up uh, without having to breathe hard. I guess back to the video. It's a good quality stuff. I mean, it's a. Uh, I don't want to say pricey, but this one is mid range. Uh, the quality far surpasses some of the other brands that could be maybe twice as expensive. And they have a wide, wide array of colors for you to choose from. <clears throat> Different sizes. I'm gonna start at 20 millimeters and 30, 40, 50, 60. And this is the 31.8 clamp size. They do have the 35. This one you're going down on drops like this one that you feel the difference with the stem. Uh, besides the fact that the bike is more responsive in the front end, I don't feel like my weight was over the front tire as much. And I have more flexibility on my arms so as they were not fully extended with the, like with the older, longer stem. And the climbs, I didn't feel much different. I did feel that I wasn't pulling as much on the front end or bringing my tire off the ground. Uh, the only difficulty I had this day was that it was cold and down here in South Texas, we're not used to the cold air, so breathing it was a bit harder. Okay, okay. thank you. I feel like this stem has completely transformed my bike. <clears throat> now she feels as playful as my 27 and a half bikes. She turns in on the time. I mean, everybody has different preferences. And you gotta be careful what you order as well. You cannot. Or you can, but you shouldn't order based on looks. Do your research, okay? There's many different websites to choose from, many forums that will help you. Uh, a lot of the big websites like Jensen USA, Competitive Cycling, most of them are offering a live chat where you can talk to them, ask questions, and it helps out a lot. I mean, I'm fairly new to the whole customizing and building, but in the last couple of months, well, this past year, I learned so much. I mean, before I didn't even know how to determine or the length and rise of a sand would make a big difference. But once you're getting that understanding and knowledge, you get to tune your bike to you. You make it your own. You tailor fit your bike to you. And it makes a difference. I mean, I'm just lucky. It's a very good looking stem. Uh, the big house, most definitely one of my favorite, favorite or favorite raggedy that I have. She's a cruiser and a bruiser. I can chill mode on this. I can rip on it. Granted, I'm not the best at ripping on it. Sorry guys. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> So nice to see you on the trails. Ah, there comes a little drop with a rock in there. Oh yeah, much stuff, man. Shortening that reach really helps me be 
uh, throw the bike forward. I have more room for my arms. As with as before, with a 50 millimeter, my arms would be extended at a max when I was pulling a drop like that. Oh yeah. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, it's a little drop. Give it some speed. Oy. Well, thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Uh, final thoughts on the stem. Uh, it was a very good upgrade. I really love the way the bike feels. It feels like a more nimble, reactive bike. As before, I felt like I was at the wheel of my old stem big white turns uh i do recommend you guys looking into upgrading and uh customizing the bike to your liking uh there's nothing wrong with buying a pre-built bike uh, as a matter of fact my dragon slayer is perfect the way it came out of the jensen usa they did a great job putting that package together uh, the Big Al was a great bike when I got it. He was a very budget uh, purchased. I got it out of ChainReactionCycles.com. The bike fully assembled and everything was a thousand dollars. So far, nothing stuck on the bike except for the brakes and the frame. Everything else has been upgraded. I am in the process of up upgrading the the brakes. Um, keep an eye out for that video, guys. I will have a video of. Um, uh, all the mods done to my uh, Big Al. Uh, one of my favorite hard hardtails, I gotta say. Um, but the stem made a significant difference. The stem and the fork have been a game changer for this bike. Uh, like I said, I just have the, the brakes to do and uh, maybe the wheels. Uh, thank you guys for coming back. Uh, please leave a like and if you like what you watch, I'll try to get better. Uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>